think it's time we stop. Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. I must ask the honourable gentleman to withdraw the term that I think he used. I think I heard the term pipsqueak. It reminds me of my two young boys squabbling at bath time. Yeah, um, hello, welcome to the uh, Sean and Simon show. Hey. Uh, that's Sean, and uh, I'm Simon. Um, we've taken on a slightly different format since the uh, last podcast. We've uh, rejigged it about just to give it a tight structure, and hopefully you'll enjoy the two different shows. Um, this one is Fill Me In, uh, which we hope will cover more topical um, things, uh, film reviews as well. Yeah, this, this one's a bit more serious, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, the other one is uh, squeeze box. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah, I keep forgetting for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's that's more of a sort of entertainment. Yeah, that right. that's that's supposed to be more funny. Well, we'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the intention anyway. Whether yeah. it works, um, I don't know. Um, so first feature of today. What we've got coming up, by the way, is. Uh, the the first thing we've got is is sort of like a topical discussion, um, and next week we're kind of hoping that you guys get involved with that. Yeah, um, we've got a topic prepared today, but what we're hoping in the future is that you could uh, recommend um, topics for us to uh, discuss. It, uh, it can be top, uh, current affairs, it can be anything you want, really. Um, it doesn't matter how old it is either. I mean, obviously we're not talking about historical things, but, you know... Within the past couple of years, kind of thing, you know? yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, so. And then after that, we've got the feature called My Opinion Is. Yeah, which is where we, um, where I uh, raise an issue, an opinion that I have, and try to persuade Sean that my opinion is right. <laughs> Although that's going to be uh, slightly <laughs> difficult. <laughs> that's just because I'm so stubborn, but anyway. Yeah. Um, and then finally, we, we've got uh, a film review. And this is the this is the position where, you know, we're going to review films, TV, uh, media. It's it's just going to be like you know things where we can review stuff. And yeah. if you but guys have got anything you want to recommend, we take a look at and review. Yeah. Give it a shot, you know. But the the things that we feel passionately about and aren't necessarily, you know, yeah, it's not popular films. You know, it's not going to be. Uh, you know the latest releases, but it's going to be you know your cult stuff, stuff that. You're gonna hear and you're gonna go. Oh yeah, I love that. Want to watch? Want to watch that? Yeah. Yeah, want to watch that? So um, yeah. Yeah, let's get on with it. Um, so Sean, I'm uh, I'm quite um, impressed with the work you've done getting us out there. But one thing that I have to take issue with is the comment that you made on the Sean and Simon YouTube uh, page. Yeah. First, can I just say first of all, I didn't mean for that to be done on <laughs> Sean and Simon. I thought I was signed into my own YouTube account there. I apologise, anyway. Sorry. Yeah, so Sean made a comment on um, a video of George Galloway criticising uh, Ricky Gervais and his use of the word mong on Twitter. Uh, Sean, do you want to uh, well, clarify your position there? I'm a big fan of Ricky Gervais, I always have been. Yeah, me too. Right. And I've uh, got all this stuff, you know, and I just came across this video. I was, I was always, I always respected George Galloway a lot as well. Um. You know, he's the kind of guy that's not afraid to to say things that are controversial, and and he speaks the truth sometimes. You know, and it, it I really respect him for that. Yeah, of course, that's got to be applauded. Um, but this, I was a bit. It, it really, he lost, he lost a fan in me when I heard this. Really, you feel that passionate? Yes, I do. After I, all the good things he's done, you're just going to write him off because of one thing you disagree with? Yeah, it's not just the fact that he dis, he didn't just have a go. He he destroyed him, and it was all founded on really stupid arguments. Go on, what 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 about Galloway's argument? Did you find uh, so distressing? And well, he start he, he starts saying like, well, I can't put it it's pers- 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 oh, teeth teeth teeth. Boy, <laughs> teeth. I can't put it specifically, but he he's jumping on the bandwagon and jumping accusing band- Ricky Gervais of this, you know, this mong thing, and when you look at it. And you actually analyse Ricky Gervais's career over you know over the past couple of years. He's done so much in the way of of raising awareness of of just this kind of thing. And he he uses the word ironically, and he uses it not just ironically, but he uses it in the same way that everybody else uses it. Uh, and absolutely. But 
I do think Ricky um, did make a bad job of defending himself. He didn't clarify yeah, his okay, position yeah. in the way that you did. But the thing is, he doesn't have to. He shouldn't yeah, have to. But the thing he should do. Why? Because the PC brigade. Uh, no, well, it's not about putting you know, a barrel to his head. It's not about appeasing as he the said PC in science. As he, as he said in science. Oh, he said, "Mom, get him off the telly." Good luck. Yeah, yeah. All right, but my point is. If he's going to make comments, he needs to be prepared to justify it fully. And the thing is, well, his, why? his justification was, I think Galloway um, commented on um, Ricky Gervais saying uh, he's above criticism or something like no, that. No, no, no. What he said was, men, when <laughs> men cap had a go at him, right, he said, he, he posted on Twitter something, I think he said, fans don't listen to all the haters they're, ju they're, they're not offended by my use of the word mong. They're jealous of my success. That's it, and that's one thing now I say. That, that, that is something I do agree with George uh, Galloway on. Yeah, okay. I think that, that statement was a bit ridiculous, but when you think about it, uh, either he, he said that to be funny... I don't think he did. I think he is genuinely that arrogant now. I think he believes okay, he is above criticism. And fair that's news, why but the it quality of his stuff has declined. Okay, the quality of his, of his stuff has declined in, in recent years. But it doesn't detract from the fact of the fact that he, he's use, he's not using the word maliciously. He's not using it to offend people with Down syndrome. He's not using it to upset people. He's using it because it's a funny. It, it's it the derivation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You but, know, it doesn't it doesn't mean that anymore. The yeah, same but, as the word gay. I mean, the Oxford Dictionary classes that it's in it's it's completely changed the meaning because of people using it differently. Yeah, absolutely. Now how are we going to progress as a society? How are we going to get new words out there if every time someone uses a word for something different that used to be offensive then, and says, oh, you're not allowed to use that word, yeah, how are we going to change things? We're only going to, we're only going to progress if people like Ricky Gervais can clarify the I position instead of falling on those patterns. But I, I only found out the word mong meant someone with Down syndrome within the past few years and I've been, I was, you know, using that when I was in secondary school and, and primary mm. school. Sorry, that was my phone going on. <laughs> I'm professional. That's, that's every time. Every time that happens. But anyway, what I'm saying is, the, 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 mean, the word doesn't have that meaning anymore. No, I, I agree. So, but he shouldn't be, be bare-baiting his detractors. He should do a better job of defending himself and defending his use of that word instead of falling onto arrogant yeah, okay, passions fair and defence. And fair that's... Is. That's why I think perhaps you were wrong to criticise Galloway. Because, why? Galloway because wasn't criticising him mainly no, for he, that. No, but that was no, one of his many points. But the thing is, he's, he's angered a lot of people because of his poor defence. If he had defended himself more, then yeah, people but Galloway like was Galloway was outright saying... You know, because Ricky Gervais has put himself across as a bit aggressive, and that's why people have reacted aggressively. If he had perhaps... Well, so had, that's fair for everyone to jump on the bandwagon and make arguments jump, that have got not, nothing no, to do with that. No, it's not jumping on the bandwagon. It's criticising him because he presents a persona that needs to be criticised. Oh, I think you got me there, but I still don't... I still don't... I still think that's daft, you know? So you're saying because he, he said... Because he, he was arrogant. Yeah, he, he, came, meant, he came across as ignorant. That was the problem. That meant that everyone could have a go at him for arguments that have nothing to do with that. It was, it was everything to do with it. No, it, it wasn't. Opened, it opened up a big debate no. over the use of the word. Okay, yeah, it did. And what, what, that, it, there's no irrelevant argument in that, in that way. But Galloway was, was accusing him of... It's, it's not... The debate about the word isn't about his use of the word, right? Galloway outright compared like he 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 said I learned as a child not to use words like that yeah right that's his that's his stance I don't yeah see, I don't see stance, I don't but he savaged him yeah I don't see why that's irrelevant at all because I've, he's, I've he's comparing said, he, Gervais to the I've mind of a child a for using a word like that yeah as I say because he has presented himself in that childish way there was nothing mature about his defense of it but that's not that of course, he that's presented the point. himself in that way yeah. But everybody, everyone who looks at his career and doesn't just jump on the bandwagon and goes, oh, you're having a go at him. You keep you using this phrase, jump on the bandwagon. Because I everyone's think, having a go at him. I think that's lazy. I don't think that... Not everyone is going to be familiar. People are going to criticise what they see. Not everyone is going to sit there and watch science. For one, because it's a load of pants. It's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, we need to...
swiftly moving yeah, on. Yeah, I don't think we're going to agree on this, man. We're, we're not, no. And um, I don't. I honestly think you, you had a better argument there, but <laughs> I still, I still, I'm not budging. I'm not All budging. right, well. Well, that's a good mindset to go into the next debate. It is, yeah. Which is, my opinion is, the Dark Knight films, a bit overrated. Just saying. <laughs> Hang on. bit overrated? He, okay, hugely overrated. Oh, because I, I could even go along with a bit overrated. Okay. Hugely overrated. Okay, I'm a big fan of Christopher Nolan. Big fan. Yeah, and I think he's done a lot of good work. Right. And I think, to be fair, let me clarify my position. Go on then, I'd like you to do that please, because I didn't really get much from that. His Batman films, good pieces of, you know, cinema. Not good Batman films. Why? What makes a good Batman film, in your opinion? My problem is that he's trying to present Batman as this credible hero, as this kind of like, real world, sort of, you know... How he's figure. He's, 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 the whole films have been have geared towards presenting Batman in a realistic world. Batman doesn't work in a realistic world. The whole comic book series is based around the fact that it's in this surreal gothic world. Take him out of that situation, and if anything, it looks more ridiculous. The fact that it's a man dressed as a bat fighting, you know, ordinary mob bosses. It doesn't work. I completely disagree. Whilst I hear your point. I don't agree that he is more ridiculous. I think he is. I, I think, think he's pulled it off I, really well. I think it opens up the fact that Batman is a ridiculous character. Look at how many people are mocking the, uh, the <coughs> Christian Bale's voice, for example. Yeah, Christian. Okay, but that's, that's the, that's the thing about example. the thing about the films isn't isn't Christian Bale. I don't think Christian Bale was was right for the role for a start. No, he wasn't. And I don't think. I mean, whilst he's a great actor, he's not a Batman. But secondly, right, it's not about Batman. It's about the film, and it's about yeah. And the films are good. I'm it's, saying it's that. about you know the the I mean the effects, the 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 feeling you get from it. It's, it's just incredible. It's epic. I'm not gonna lie. I was blown away by the Dark Knight when I saw it in the cinema. But as I say, when I think about it, a bit ridiculous. It's like yeah. my, I think I've perfectly encapsulated my point. I think by something Charlie Brooker said. Right. He said, calling Batman the Dark Knight yeah. is about as credible as calling Papa Smurf the Blue Patriarch. You see, it's, I it's, like it's, tra it's trying to It's trying to give, it's trying to make it seem, I don't know, trying to force something. No, I, I, I think that's amazing, calling him the Dark Knight. That's so epic. Yeah. You know, the Dark Knight, the Dark Knight Rises, it's just... It's amazing. It's 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 epic. That's, That's the thing. The I think the Dark Knight Rises is a lazy title. <laughs> Why? Just is. He's definitely been lazy with the marketing. It's very Inception esque. Yeah. I mean, he's used like what, like four of the actors from Inception. <laughs> That's not a problem, though. The good on. actors. They are Chris, good actors. Quentin yeah. Tarantino uses the same cast all the time. Tim Burton frequently. Yeah, but uses they the are no cast. Tim Burton. Tim Burton's terrible for it. But <laughs> they're known for doing stuff like that, right? They're known. That's their. Why like, is that thing. a problem, though? But that's their thing. No, but it's the same thing back in the day. Shakespeare used the same actors all the time. He worked for the same yeah. theatre company all his life. Did they use very similar artwork though for the promotion? Well, I don't know. I wasn't around, so. but I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> But it, to me, the, my problem with them is that it almost seems like he's he's trying to set up a portfolio, a portfolio of these films, and he's trying to go, you know, that's a series and that's a series, you know, it's yeah, I, I, I agree, and I feel like he's going through a phase. I don't know, I can't explain it, but it, it that's that's my only problem with it, and I'm not saying that's no, a bad mean? thing. That's not a bad thing. It's just that's what's happened. But I disagree. No. Yeah, right. it's is, it is more like I think you've, you've raised a good point there. Because I think it's more like Christopher Nolan is trying to place his stamp on the Batman series rather than. No, I think it's the other Batman way around. Films. I think it's the other way around. I think he's using the Batman films to advance his career. Those I don't, two things I, don't have to be mutually exclusive. Well, I guess yeah, but I don't think he cares about Batman in itself because he's he's moved away from a lot of That's what kind Batman of my point. was. Yeah, but why is that a bad thing? The old Batman films were naff. I don't think they were. The Tim they Burton films terrible. were great. Oh. Better than the Nolan films. No, no way. They were 
Oh, and a controversial no. point, Jack Nicholson was better as the Joker than Heath Ledger. Jack Nicholson is incredible, right? I, I, I like Jack Nicholson much more than I like Heath Ledger, but I think Heath Ledger's uh, Joker was a lot more scary but and serious. He and was. He was ter- he terrified me. But I prefer and the I know this, Joker. I know this is like jump on the bandwagon again and all this stuff, and this is, this is me being honest now. He was incredible. He was a, he was a very good performance, but I don't think it was a good performance. You know, he wasn't appropriate for the Joker. Maybe he was more like a terrorist. I mean, I guess it worked no in the context. No way! It, it, was, it worked it was in the context. Wa- no, it was insane, and it worked in the context of the films. But as I say, I don't think it. You know, I, I prefer Jack Nicholson. I think he was funnier, and I think I, I prefer to watch a funny Joker. Hmm. And on the point of Heath Ledger, I think I don't think he deserved his Oscar. Whoa! I don't. No way. I think I think that was. That you was, are you are wrong there. Certainly. There's a lot of discussion surrounding the Oscars and the politics surrounding it, and um, the use of um, you know the Oscars to award actors like Heath Ledger who have died posthumously, and sort of like recognizing their body of work yeah. as a whole rather than his performance of the Joker, and I think that's. What happened? While that might, st- while whilst that might have happened, I don't think, I think he still would have, you know, been really. Oh, it, I, even if he hadn't have died, it it was still amazing. It was, but I think, I, I just don't think his work should be awarded particularly for that role. I think no. he's done a far better job in other films. No way, that's his best role by far. But anyway, I'm never going to agree with that. So. So my opinion is that. The Dark Knight films are hugely overrated. Do you agree? My opinion is final, <laughs> that you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, Terribly here we are. Wrong. I'm moving from one film to another. Sean, would you care to explain the film yes, review? Yes, uh, the film review. Um, uh, we watched uh, The Dead Poet Society the other day. Yeah. I'd seen it for the first time. It was it was the first time I saw it as well that was day. It? I, well, oh, I watched it that day. Yeah, yeah, I watched it. I enjoyed it so much that I watched it twice that day. I was watching it on my own. Yeah, I enjoyed it so much. I had to bring it around to your house and make you watch it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. But the thing is, I think you you hold it up too high. No. In what way? Well, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was epic, and and all the actors were incredible in it, right? But I felt like it was a, a skeleton. A skeleton. How do you mean? Yeah, it was like the framework of something that could have been more. Now, don't get me wrong, it was great, and I really enjoyed it, but I felt like not enough happened, certain emphasis was placed on, on things that were irrelevant, or at least less relevant than other things. I disagree, I think it was a hugely rich and touching film. It was rich, yeah, but I think it wasn't, it wasn't rich enough for, for what it could I have been. I think it was very rich, I think you're looking at it from more of a narrative perspective rather than thematically. Maybe you're looking at it in more sort of the technical production of the film. No, I'm looking at it from the plot, and I'm looking at I'm looking at it, you know, from the perspective of a film. Whereas you're seeing it as um, something academic, I think. You, yeah, maybe I'm biased because I'm a literature student, and that's my passion. But I think, yeah. but I think it said so much about the power of poetry. Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's that's what I missed. That's what I didn't see in the film. What I got from the film, because obviously it wouldn't it wouldn't mean anything but to me. But that disappoints me. Did you not watch that film and think I want to read some poetry? No, now? I didn't because I, I'm you know I'm not into poetry. What I saw no, from that, that was surely... what a touching portrayal of of characters and and how people ha- when they have things in common, uh, or how when a teacher can come in and affect someone's life so much. Yeah, that's that's what I got from it. I I I want I went into the story, not what they were doing, and I thought the story needed a lot more meat. Well, well perhaps maybe. But don't I think, I think, I think, it's, I think the problem is we wanted two different things from yeah, the film. Yeah, yeah. I got exactly it didn't, what I it didn't change that I, the the fact that I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I just felt it could have been so much more. Yeah. So much more, which is a shame. Okay, well, I see your point, but. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> We've done nothing but disagree in this. That's good, though. It's good. I suppose, yeah. Without opposition, there is no progression. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, no. <laughs> but what, what do you think of Robin Williams? 
It was brilliant. Yeah. That's the thing, though. I mean, I I got a lot more from the film Man of the Year than you did because politics That's, is my passion. Yeah. And, Fair point. And his portrayal in that, I I looked at that, and the messages I got from that was, you know, look at how much one man can affect politics. Whereas you thought it was a really lazy plot, and I don't think it was a lazy plot. I never said that. I just think it could have been a lot Sorry, stronger. Was that, was that me forcing an opinion on it? <laughs> it probably was. To help to better my argument. <laughs> I just thought, I don't know, I thought it could have been scripted better, I thought. You see, I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I can't place my finger on what was so wrong with it. I think maybe because Robin Williams' character was, he was sort of modelled on the John Stewart, um, what's he called, Stephen Colbert kind of political commentator, and I think that should have been emphasised a bit more. Well... Before we review another film, we need to move on from that. <laughs> yeah, point is, Willie, got, uh, Robin Williams. Great Robin actor. Williams is incredible. He is. is. You still haven't seen one hour photo. I have. Have you? Yeah. When? I watched it the other day. Oh, what? I'm sure I told you. No, I really wanted to watch it with you. <laughs> oh, I am I'm so sorry. annoyed. I am so annoyed about that. <laughs> Who wins? Myself. Did you go out and buy it? Yeah. Oh. You were revising at the time. I've got it. Well, I didn't think. Oh, I didn't think. you. I almost swore then. I am not happy with you. We need to be having chats off, off air. Right, well, perhaps we should. Yes, right, well. But essentially, the point I want to make about the Dead Poet Society is it's a film that hasn't been seen by enough people. and it's no, my definitely. It's yeah. my mission to make sure that it gets the recognition yeah. that it deserves. Did it make me cry? Did I cry? I don't think you did. I don't think you did. I did. I did actually. I forgot at the oh, very end. Yeah. At the very end, where they were still on the tables. Don't ruin it. Well, what does that mean? You know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that means nothing to anyone who's listening. <laughs> it hasn't seen it anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's an incredible film. I just. I look. My problem with it isn't a real one. It's just. It, yeah. It could have okay. been more significant in in my film education. I I, I see your point, but if you like your poetry. Yeah, if you're a watch poet. It. And if not, maybe, unlike Sean, you will get an appreciation for poetry out of it. Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. It yeah. was possible. I just wasn't looking for it. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, we should wrap up, really. Yes, we should. Right. So, um, don't forget to listen to uh, our other one. Yeah, which is Squeezebox. That will also be on YouTube and elsewhere. Tumblr. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. You need to... Get get emailing us about um, topical discussions you want us to discuss. Yeah, post uh, messages on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr if you have those mediums as well. Um, Contact us by any means. We've also got email, Sean and Simon Show at hotmail.co.uk. We'll put that on the uh, Facebook page. Oh, on sorry, Twitter, on there. Oh, so good, all, good. All, all the information needs on the Facebook. But we'll, we'll we'll add this onto the end of the video as well. Yes. Yes. yes anyway. Um, so yeah, that's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. Thanks for listening. See you later, guys. See you later. I think it's time we stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. I must ask the honourable gentleman to withdraw the term that I think he used. I think I heard the term pipsqueak. They remind me of my two young boys squabbling at bath time. <laughs>